have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Marsala. Today I have a realistic home clean with me for you guys. If you could tell in my tone of my voice, I have a little bit of a cold. Um, we were supposed to go to a birthday party today and it was a first birthday party so I knew there was going to be a ton of kids there and obviously I don't want to share the love with anybody else. So instead of the party, I'm going to go ahead and film. Um, we have a plethora of things to do. Um, I'm going to be selling Maggie's high chair, so I need to get that all cleaned up so I can put it on Facebook to sell. Also, obviously, we have a fun little mess over here that needs to be cleaned. I hope this gives you guys all the cleaning motivation that you need, so if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's go ahead and get started. So first we are just starting off with cleaning my kitchen. My kitchen is always a disaster because I don't spend my entire day cleaning it. Um, I will just clean it in little tidbits during, around the day. My dishes obviously were a hot mess, so I'm looking forward to just getting those done, taking this little um, bottle holder down. My daughter is almost two. The reason that I still had it up is because I had it at a garage sale, but it didn't sell, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and donate it to the local thrift store. Um, so I'm just going to finish putting these dishes away and then load the dishwasher. I'm just switching out my Zevo insect light. I don't really know what it's called exactly, but um, the Zevo insect light is honestly one of the best investments I've ever made. It is a little bit pricey, but if you have like house flies or fruit flies or anything of that matter, I have it stuck there because I always put my fruit bowl there 
it is a godsend. It works better than any other trick or liquid that I've ever used. So I will go ahead and link that down below for you guys. Moving on to laundry, I had this massive basket of laundry, of clean laundry that I needed to fold. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all piled into this little basket, which obviously probably should have just grabbed another one, but to be totally honest with you, I probably didn't have one that wasn't empty because I procrastinate folding laundry like it's nobody's business. So I'm gonna move this over, clean off the table, and then we will get to folding all of this laundry. quick outfit change because I spilled my lunch all over my cute little Santa sweatshirt. If you know me, I am a spiller through and through. Probably need a bit more than my kids need it, but anyways. Um, if you see me giggling every once in a while, this is pretty quick speed, so I don't know if you can. But I was watching a show that I love to watch on YouTube. It's called Financial Audit with Caleb Hammer. If you haven't watched it yet and you like watching things like that, um, like Dave Ramsey, Caleb Hammer financial type shows. I highly recommend this one. Not only is it honestly so interesting to see, I mean this is probably such a small percentage, but I do feel like there's a lot more people in this situation than people think. Um, but it really just goes over people that are in like massive credit card debt or just massive debt in general and just don't have good financial habits. Not only is it extremely interesting, he is very funny to watch. So I will go ahead and put his the link to his channel down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. If you're wondering why there's like nothing in Jack's drawers, it's because I had an entire basket full of clean laundry for him and he had gotten into my room and mixed a bunch of dirty laundry with his clean laundry. I don't even remember why, but it was all over the bed. So I had to end up cleaning all of that again. And so that's why there was like nothing in his drawers. So I'm just putting the kids clothes back in their drawers and their bedrooms and then we are going to move on to just a quick little cleanup in Maggie's room and then we're going to make some yummy, delicious coffee cake. High and low, in between, acting out, make a scene. Working on our body language, working on our body language. Baby, now tell me exactly how you feel. I'm just trying to keep it real. Let me love you on the inside. This coffee cake is something that I found in a recipe book that I bought from a thrift store. It has all of these different little family recipes, which I thought was really cool. Um, not from the same family, they're just a plethora of different recipes from different people. But um, this one was pretty good. I wouldn't say it's probably the best. If I'm gonna have like a coffee cake, I want it to be more of a pound cake consistency because I love pound cake, but I just really like the density of that type of cake. Um, this one did call for, the only thing that I switched up was 
It called for buttermilk, but my buttermilk had went bad, so I had to use whole milk. So I don't know, if, had I used buttermilk, maybe it would have been a little more dense, but with the whole milk, it was kind of like a lighter consistency. So if you like like a light, fluffy cake, this would be your go-to. I would definitely recommend using whole milk. The other thing is the recipe called for 60 minutes of cook time, and I checked it at 30, and it was definitely done. So um, maybe next time, if I make it again, I will use um, buttermilk, and then I might have to adjust the time. Um, it also said to use like a ton of sugar and cinnamon, and so this was as much sugar in the bowl that it called for on top, and I thought that was just way too much, and I thought I already put a lot on it. So um, that's up to you, obviously. It's But I didn't feel like it needed the entire bowl of sugar and cinnamon. So here is a picture of it. Nice little fork poke in the middle to see if it was done. Not very aesthetically pleasing, but it was delicious, and my husband loved it as well. I am going to put Maggie's high chair up for sale on Marketplace. I actually already did and sold it. I'm just waiting for the girl to come pick it up. Um, but I was obsessed with this high chair. If you need a high chair, one thing that I hated about Jack's high chair was that it was cloth based. It was impossible to clean. I hated that I had to take the entire thing off and put it in the washer in order to get the stains off of it. With this Oravel one, the the cover of it, the pink cover, is like a hard plastic top and it was a thousand times easier to clean. So this one is a pretty penny, but I found that it was worth every penny because it was just so much quicker, so much more efficient to clean and just keep clean. Another thing that I loved about it was that you'll see um, here in a couple minutes that you can actually pull the top back and it will sit completely horizontal so when she was a bitty baby and we'd be eating dinner I could just put her in there strap her in and put a blanket over her and she was totally content. All right, the last thing we are going to be doing in this video is deep cleaning my refrigerator. As you guys can see, I let this go way bad. I have explained this in a video previously on my channel, but when my fridge gets this full, I get extremely overwhelmed and I just let it go, which you will see how bad it got. Tons of leftovers in here. I had a jar of jalapenos spill on the top shelf, which is what the green consistency is on the top shelf. Um, not embarrassed this is I don't get embarrassed easily by this kind of stuff I hope that it gives you guys motivation to clean your own fridges but anyways just taking everything out I did a full scrub I washed these in the sink and then I wiped down all the shelves I actually took some of the shelves out and hand washed them as well and it looks a thousand times better looks like a new fridge I can't wait for you guys to see the final result give me a chance yeah, baby, try, try, try Just one more night Then make up your mind, mind, mind Please don't say That it's goodbye, bye, bye If you just believe it I know we can make it We used to be strong, love Don't forget
organized these shelves into condiments of like salad dressings and steak marinades which when I watched this back I realized we have way too many steak marinades but we love steak in this house so I'm not ashamed of it um, so I did salad dressings and hot sauces steak sauces and then I also did like jellies caramels syrups and things like that if only I had listened for these Lazy Susans are one of my favorite things in the kitchen. They make it so much easier to find things in your fridge, um, especially when it comes to like pickles and um, sandwich toppings, things like that, salsas, as you guys can see. Love those, like I think I got them from TJ Maxx. So I went ahead and cleaned those off, stuck them back in here, and then I also um, put the leftovers back in the fridge. These are obviously my produce drawers that desperately needed to be scrubbed, and so you guys can see they're really bad, but they look a thousand times better now. Once I'm done cleaning these out, that will be all that I have for you guys in this video, but I hope you did enjoy it. I hope it gave you a ton of cleaning and organizing motivation and if you did like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys My given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm going